God lives and works today, He is not just a force, a vague creative spirit floating around in the universe. He is a dynamic power and a person. That is why He is truly grieved to see what mankind is doing to itself and to creation. Today's meditation by Basilea Schlink takes a realistic look at the world today. Darkness has come over the earth, but do we notice it? Until recently, the actions of men have been measured by moral standards of God. There's always been murder, brutality, and sexual perversion. Yet previously, these things were always condemned in our Western civilization. Those who practiced them were excluded from society. Today, however, criminals are heroes, and immorality has become popular. Newspapers and magazines boast the age of true freedom has finally arrived. Humanity can live out its instincts. Light, truth, honesty, and genuine love have almost disappeared. Our young people are threatened with obliteration in this slime. Doesn't anyone care about them? They're helpless, surrounded by all of these powers. Darkness presses in upon them from all sides, polluting the very air that they breathe. Who's crying to the Lord about this? Who's taking the first step to stand up against this trend? Matthew 24 prophesies that it will be as it was in the days of Noah. People were eating and drinking and getting married, and no one knew or paid attention to the warnings of God until the flood came and swept them all away. They knew not. They did not heed. This is prophesied as the condition of humanity for the last days. And it's true today. We're living in a time similar to that just before the flood, of which it is said that the entire earth had become perverse, and God's heart was grieved. Today, immorality has spread over the whole face of the earth. Again, destruction threatens the world, this time through atomic war. Only repentance can still save us. And this repentance must begin in the church with each individual believer. This alone will hold back the flood of destruction. You have been listening to a program written by Basilea Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.